Well, that's the sort of pedigree of player we have out here. Juventud Badalona in green, being watched by Juan Antonio Samaranch, the president of the International Olympic Committee. Those Olympic uh, Games just a few weeks away. So, Partizan Belgrade in white, and it's uh, Djordjevic who brings the ball in uh, to start off what promises to be an encounter of the first kind. And Nakic, uh, the big man on the centre now, setting the screen, that's a foul, and uh, Danilovic is fouled by Villacampa. It's a very quick foul on Villacampa, the number eight. That's his first. Big, powerful figure in the background there, number 10, Corney Thompson, much expected of him. He's got to get in and uh, operate under those backboards, I can tell you. So, Djordjevic, Djordjevic, such a significant factor. Both of the players, four and five, significant, and Nakic is in. And Nakic, ooh, and that was, the, I was just mentioning Thompson, well, that was a nice piece of play. So, Villa Camper on the near side, edgy start. Thompson, pressing on the far side, being defended by Nakic. A slip, no. Nope. Rebounder is uh, Danilovic. Danilovic uh, immediately to Djordjevic, and Djordjevic initiates yet another play. Look at that nice little screen there by the number eight, Stepanovic. And that's uh, a turnover. That will go down with the statistics more than anything else. And uh, possession going the other way. Look at the fellow in the middle, the number 10. Big grimace on his face. Corny Thompson, one of the two Americans, especially the other one, of course. His last 10 not to use the American players. Oh, he's in. Almost does Djordjevic in. Oh, nice shot. Nakic, three-pointer. Opens the account. First three, then, to the underdogs in white. Nice little pass. Bill of Camper tucked in underneath. The border. Well, it looked like a good block by Danilovic, but it's a foul. And it's George. Well, it looked like Danilovic to me that uh, committed the foul. I'm not sure which of the players has got it now. Uh, Djordjevic it is, the number four, although Danilovic looked to be the player that was uh, blocking. It must have happened just before that, but certainly whilst in the act of shooting, that's for sure. Well, still no score on the board of Juventud Badalona. Twice winners of the Korac Cup. Uh, they've not won this uh, major trophy before. And incidentally, when you consider FC Barcelona in the last two seasons, they went into these... Uh, Finals as favourites and lost it to, of course, Pop 84. 18 minutes and six seconds to go in this first half, and the defensive play already are showing up here. A partisan have held their opponents to low scores throughout the season. They really are a solid defensive machine. And Joffre, Jof sir, pumping that ball into Villacampa, and that's uh, Presley missing. Oh, he got it the second time. Oh. 3-2, Partizan, <laughs> look at that, that's Badalona support. Djordjevic. Nice little pass and the three-point attempt not there, and that was off the hands, I reckon, of uh, number 12, Morales. And uh, Partizan get uh, the luxury of possession out of bounds, and they do so because Nakic is there. Nakic, the only Croatian player on the roster here. 53 times Yugoslav junior international, so he's come good from the junior base. Nice rebound there by Rafael Jofresa. Jofresa quick. Fast break work working here. Villa Camper pops it in. It's 4 3, Badalona. And Villa Camper on the end of that fast break. And that was a good sign if you're a supporter of uh, Badalona. Now, your first, or Djordjevic rather, slows it down. Nakic on the near side, number 15. Defended by Presley. Presley sagging away from him on the top, waiting for him to come in. And there's a foul off the ball. And uh, that's number five, it's Danilovic. It's his first. A little bit of pushing and shoving. And, well, they're already getting the message now how the referees are calling this. They're calling it very, very tight indeed. Ruvan Veromnik of uh, Israel and Philip Lehman of Switzerland, the two officials, that's Lehman. Now, what can uh, Badalona do here? Jofresha defended by uh, Djordjevic. Well, that's in fact uh, Thompson tucked in in the corner, big fella. Number 10 on his back. And a camper trying to get inside, can't. Oof. Once again, Presley's taken several shots now and has looked very shaky indeed, and those outside shots have got to work, and that's a foul. I don't think he will be a judge to be in the act of shooting. He was on the drive. 
Four three at the moment. Your fresher's first foul. That's Raphael, your fresher. Don't confuse him with Thomas, his younger brother, who will wear the number six. He appears on the court. That is. So Nakic on the near side pops it in. Uh, Georgievich. Georgievich. Nakic. Presley trying to defend on. That was well stolen. And Villa Camper playing a superb role there. Your fresher's in. Oh yes. Rafael, 6-3, Badalona leading, and this is a very good start. Uh, the shooting percentage is not great, and even though Badalona are leading, Juventud Badalona are leading, they've uh, taken a few shots now and missed them. Now, Nakic, defended by Presley. Nice matchup uh, there between the number eight, Villa Campa, and uh, Danilovic, and Thompson once again bringing it away. And, and all of a sudden, well, that was a foul. All of a sudden, Badalona getting their fast break working. That's a foul on Nakic. And I wouldn't be a bit surprised if we don't see a timeout soon. We've got a substitution. Uh, Dragotinovic for Nakic. That's uh, 14 for 15 on the Partizan side. Partizan in white. So Villa Camper. Thompson, he's a big fella. Presley. Oh, and that was a little bit of acting. Well refereed there. Oh, Rafael Jofresa, 9-3. Three. Three-pointer. And then from the number five, Jofresa, one of the best point guards in Spanish basketball, and showing why. 13 out there. Koprivica, 14. Dragutinovic. And there's a fella we featured, Danilovic. Fouled by Morales, it's his first, it's 9-5. to five. And uh, partisan crowd, well, not as noisy as one would expect. They are four down. Have a look at this. Actually, the foul occurred before that. However. So we've got to Danilovic then. Gets the bonus. 9-6 it is. Let's see. To the number 12 on the top. Morales. Camper moving. Thompson looking to get in. No way past. Doesn't get it. Lovely rebound by Koprovica. And bringing it down now is uh, Dragotinovic. Slows it. Dragotinovic and uh, Georgievich. Georgievic slows it down on the far side. He's defended by Jofresa. Nice match up there. Lots of work underneath the backboard, off the ball at the moment. Players freeing themselves off screens. Nice little movement. No way in yet. Oof, almost an error. Georgievic, Georgievic. The clock ticking down in the corner, and that was a superb shot, wasn't it? Dragotinovic, number 14. And, oh, that was a foul, surely a deliberate foul, but not called as deliberate. Extraordinary. Took hold of his wrist and pulled his arm down. So, uh, Alexander Georgievich, watch this, watch this. Pulled his arm right away. Second foul. Lucky not to get an intentional there. So, Jofresa. <sighs> Nicely in, Thompson's in this time, surely. Oh, he's missed it. The big man not quite getting close enough. And that was a good block out there by Danilovic. Danilovic, and he ends up with a rebound as well. So good play by the number five for Partizan. Oh, almost a steal there by Morales. 9-8, one point in it. What a close encounter it promised to be, and what it is at the moment, superb game. Tactical in every sense, defensive play is good. Not a lot being allowed inside. Oh, what a good shot that was from Danilovic again. Five points to his credit. I wonder how he got that grey hair, the coach. Uh, this is tough indeed, being on that uh, sideline. Jofresa, or rather Villa Camp for the number eight. And that's the coach, of course, to... That's Manuel Saints, uh, coach to Badalona. Looking pensive. It's well he might at this stage. Three-point attempt, and that was Georgievic. I think it was three points. Yes, it was, just outside the arc. 13-12, and Partizan go ahead, and they'll... Uh, that was a foul on uh, Presley, I think. We'll get confirmation out at the moment, let's have a look. 
Uh, it couldn't have been on Presley. It was on Danilovic with Presley on the free throw line. So the defensive foul. Well, Harold Presley, 29 years old. Former player with the Sacramento Kings in the NBA. It's 15-13 and Badalona back in the lead. Danilovic dropping the ball out and rotating. No way through for Danilovic. An awful lot of contact off the ball here, not being called. And now we've got a, a foul. Villa Camper called there. Well, after all that had gone before, and then that one called, it's extraordinary. There was so much contact. In fact, Danilovic tried to get through on the far side there, was pushed away, couldn't get through. Look at the players pushed everywhere, nothing called, and yet Villa Camper on the near side uh, was uh, called. Well, let's hope the referees keep a tight hand on this, a tight rein, because it needs it. So Partizan in attack, there was a nice little movement there by the number eight, uh, Zoran Stevanovic, the 22-year-old, big centre, big fella. And once again, uh, number eight going in, that's uh, Villa Campa. And it's a third foul on Danilovic. Now, this is significant and substitution being called. Let's have a look at this. Well, he did drift across in front of his opponent, I guess. It was a 50-50 one, that, but uh, Longcar's on number six. For Partizan, his first appearance, only 20 years old, 50 times Yugoslav Junior International. He's uh, replaced Danilovic for the moment, and that is an interesting one. 15 all in this first half, as coach Zelmir Obradovic, coach to Partizan, not uh, showing too much emotion at the moment, sitting there. Uh, Stevanovic, defended. Uh, on the top quite tightly, but what a good shot that was by Kobrika, a Koprovika, a Koprovika wearing 13, another Yugoslav international. Oh, that was a nice little drive in, surely there'll be a bonus shot there. Uh, Morales right the way through, number 12, he gets two and one, he's got a bonus shot coming, Stevanovic, well, got his hand in the way. Let's have a look at this. There he is. Reached it across, didn't he? He didn't get the right position in front of the driving player and reached across, very lazy, and uh, got the reward. Doesn't make it, just two, it's 17 all in this first half. Eleven minutes and eight seconds to go. And there's an injury there, I think, to... Stevanovic, and his eye looks to me to be cut. Now, how that happened, not sure, and it looks to me to be a bad one. It looks as though that may need some stitches. Uh, forget the statistics for the moment. Uh, this is uh, a difficult one for the Yugoslav bench to resolve because he got uh, certainly a, an injury. I'm not sure how he got it. And, of course, they'll have to take him off because of the FIBA ruling on health grounds um, of uh, no blood being allowed on the court, that is to say outside of the body. <laughs> and um, so he has to come off and get treatment, and uh, there is that treatment. It does look a bad cut. We now join the first half with just about four minutes to go. It's 29 points each. Partizan attacking once again, and this is really a tough one. And Stevanovic back on, two stitches in that eye, and back on playing. And so is Danilovic, and there is the effect of the man, 31-29. Danilovic of Partizan is on three fouls, 3.37 to go. Badalona in green, looking for a way in. Thomas Jofresha, the younger of the Jofresha brothers, out on top now. He's the point guard at the moment. Thompson, no way in for Thompson there, travelling violation, was it? Yes, it was. Big smile on her face there. Guess which team he supports. So, Thompson, year two with his side. The big rebounding machine hasn't quite come off today, I have to say that, although both teams defensively have played well, and you can tell that from the low scoring here because the shooting percentage is not too bad. But, uh, they've had to work very, very hard for their points. Danilovic, 
And number 14 on the near side, Dragutinovic. Dragutinovic, and this is the number eight. There he is, Stevanovic. Stevanovic, and not uh, successful on this occasion. Jofresha comes out. And uh, Stevanovic retreats. Jofresha gets in beautifully. Well, the defence, having talked about good defence, uh, they collapsed. And it's 31 points each in this first half of this European final, the number one final in European basketball. As a team from the former Yugoslavia against the top team in Spain at the moment, Juventus Badalona. And a foul call then, no, <laughs> is a shout, and that's Jordi Pardo, the number nine for Juventus Badalona, saying no, it wasn't, but the referee disagrees. It's a one-on-one, one. we've gone beyond the team foul situation. Incidentally, uh, this fellow plays guard and small forward positions. He's 1m91 tall, not particularly tall in basketball terms. Danilovic on the line, 31 each. Can he take Partizan into the lead? And the answer's there for you. For the moment, anyway. Ten points, three rebounds. 33-31. Partizan Belgrade leading at the moment. Less than two and a half minutes to go, and they've let Jofresha in for the second successive time. And look at the remonstration from Danilovic. And Danilovic says, where were you? Everybody collapsed, and in the young man went. Dragutinovic bringing it in then for Partizan. Number 13 is there, Koplovica. Koplovica to uh, Danilovic. Danilovic on the far side to Djordjevic, and Djordjevic hits a big one. That's a three-pointer. Well, he moves his personal tally to 12, it's 36-33 to Partizan. And uh, whilst the coaches question time and time again the decisions being made, it will do them no good at all. And uh, Jordi Pardo brings the ball in. 1.44 to go. Pardo on the top, now rotating down deep. Villa Camper on the near side, Thompson in the middle. Triangle around it. And that's a foul against one part of that triangle, it's uh, Koprivica. That's his third foul. And incidentally, uh, Thompson only scored two points so far, and both of those were free throws, so the big man not getting inside effectively. He's drawing the fouls all right, but... And uh, incidentally, that, I think, is a one-and-one. -one. Although he did look to be fouled in the act of shooting, he, it's a... In fact, it was, t it was one and one, and that was the first one. He's got it, so he gets another. Team foul situation rather than a shooting foul. Well, he's hit three out of his four uh, free shots then. It's 36-34, Partizan uh, leading at the moment. A one minute and 30 seconds left in this first half. And uh, really, it's going to form at the moment. We always knew it was going to be tight, the atmosphere demands it here, and that's uh, Djordjevic going inside, there's a foul and the foul on uh, number six, Thomas Jofresa let's have a look at this there he is there, got a hold of his man didn't he got a hold of Djordjevic as he went through to the basket so Djordjevic finds himself on the line he is a talented player isn't he went to the NBA last year tried out for the Celtics he's only 1m88 and that height uh, will not see him in good stead in uh, the NBA. The guards are big men there. And 38-34, Partizan leading. Juventud in their green strip, trying to get their fast break going again. One minute, 14 seconds left in this first half. Nice little clear-out demanded there, not really coming. Jofresa trying to get through, gets it inside. That looked like a travelling violation, nothing called, and that was uh, Morales moving into the basket, not getting his reward, really. And once again, Djordjevic, uh, the mid-court general in every sense, isn't he? Uh, very much a part of every play, the number four with the ball now. Using the screen, 46 seconds left, he's inside again. Oh, and that was the first bad piece of play we've seen from him. And that was, oh, and it's a steal again from Badalona. Couldn't get the fast break away, couldn't get Pardo on the end of the pass. And now, of course, 32 seconds left. They'll have to take a shot. Now, and look at the defence moving rapidly to try and prevent the shot going up. Danilovic looks as though he's going to take it, doesn't he's fouled. He's fouled by the number nine, Pardo, again. And that's a one-on-one. -on -one. A Pardo second foul. 
And uh, the coach is taking an opportunity to have a word. <laughs> Look at that elbow. <laughs> but Danilovic with 11 points, four rebounds on the top end of a one and one. Misses that, the play again, it's ball in play, 38-34, Partizan leading, uh, just 14 seconds, they'll take one shot, they won't need to take another, they'll just look in for one, try and get inside for one, there it is, and it's scored it in Sinabad, 40-34, Partizan leading as they go into the half, oh, he's missed it, that was the half-time score, and I tell you what, a very, very enthralling first half, 40 to Partizan. 34 to Juventud Badalona. So Yugoslavia over Spain at the half, but will it continue? into the second half and the Badalona fans beginning to enjoy this occasion now their team six points down that's not a significant deficit at the moment and uh, of course Badalona in green this is your fresher this is Thomas your fresher and this uh, number 11 Harold Presley Tom's uh, Thomas or Thompson rather out on the top number 10 number 12 there is Morales in green and a travelling violation giving uh, possession to uh, Partizan. And uh, Partizan really um, owe an awful lot to Georgievich in the first half and Danilovic played uh, remarkably well. And of course, uh, the number eight, uh, Stevanovic, who's done a good job on defending uh, Corny Thompson, who really hasn't made any impact at all. Thompson, the big number 10. Well, Danilovic going around Presley, looking to get inside, does so. Oh, and that was a beautiful piece of following in by Silabad. Uh, the number 12, super reading of that situation. 42-34, Partizan. Now the margin. Oh, that was very, very important. I was going to say if the margin gets any bigger, then, well, heads might go down. And there's a sigh of relief there on the uh, face of Manuel Saints, the former coach of Real Madrid, the coach to Juventus Badalona, desperately needed that uh, shot uh, from Villa Campa, his high-scoring Spanish international guard. Lots of movement, look at that. Oh, has he got it? He has got it. And that's uh, Danilovic once again. 44-36, Partizan leading, two-point score, and there's a bonus to come. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It was a successful shot, so he gets a bonus and an opportunity to take three points out of the situation, and he gets them. Well, Jofresa trying to get the fast break going. Presley... Defended very, very tightly by Danilovic, and that was a superb movement into the centre there, Morales. And Morales takes it 45-38, the big man read that well, timed his ascent beautifully and crashed the ball through the ring. Danilovic slows it. Waits uh, for uh, Dragutinovic to come out to the top. Lots of screen movements, freeing players low down. Danilovic, or rather Dragutinovic, out on the top for the moment. Danilovic, Dragutinovic and those two working a simple little pass and cut. But uh, I think we've got a foul there. Yes, it's Villa Campus third. Danilovic is on three. That came in the fall in the first half. And Villa Campa there. He'd made his contact with the player before he went up for the shot. Uh, collecting his third. Good rebound there. Villa Campa in for the rebound. And uh, just for once, Partizan slow to respond in defence. Jofresa. Oh, Jofresa, three points, that's Rafael, the older of the brothers. 45-41, Partizan leading, and 16 minutes and 27 seconds left. Who will be the European top side for 1992? Spain had so much promise in the last two with FC Barcelona and lost it to Pop 84 from split. And will it all change this time? We'll see. Jofresa, foul on him, I think. Yes, it is, and it's fourth. Well, Jofresa here, very lazy, moving across into uh, Danilovic, who himself is on three fouls. Very lazy, stays on, though. And there's another foul. 
and that's on the number 14, Vladimir Dragotinovic for Partizan Belgrade. Three-time Belgrade have won the uh, Korac Cup, Korac one of the lesser European competitions, and uh, of course this is the one they all want to win. Presley on the far side, defended by uh, Dragotinovic. Presley hasn't really got into this game yet, nor has Thompson. The two Americans have not uh, played as well as one would have expected them, and having said that, he just puts two points in. Well, 45-43, Partizan is just two points, and uh, I must say that Badalona creeping back, looking good, and you wonder if Thompson and Presley could get their act together, then things could change. Danilovic out on the top. Jordovic. Oh, he's some player, isn't he? Three-pointer, 48-43. We introduced the programme by saying he was a big three-pointer, and he's proving it. Oh, and that surely was a steal. He went for the ball, and very, very unlucky indeed is Dragotinovic. And uh, so, three fouls. Oh, we'll have a little look uh, in a moment if we get a replay. Yes, we have. Let's have a look at this. He just took the ball away. Well, the referee indicating that he contacted his head, but uh, clearly I think that goes down in my book as an unlucky call. <laughs> It really does. Thompson out on the top, defended by uh, Stevanovic. Stevanovic, the big fella, had the cut eye. That's uh, repaired happily. Uh, Presley, and Presley needs to hit a few of those if Badalona are going to get away. Danilovic is in, there's a big gap! Oh, it opened up and he saw it and he took it and he got his reward. 50 to 43, and he's still got a bonus. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Watch this. Superb. Rough fouled him. He gets one more shot. Oh. oh, he read that so well. 22 years old, Danilovic. And uh, he's listed as one of the new stars of Yugoslavian basketball. I think he's proved it. Three points out of that little uh, confrontation. And Badalona desperate to get the ball down now and to get that ball in the basket. The defence from Partizan is, uh, if I can use the word, awesome. It really is. They're moving, they're covering. And uh, we've got a foul on Koplovica. It's his fourth. Forward uh, centre, so described, or pivot. And, of course, Thompson gets inside, is fouled. Now, who's that? Is that Danilovic? It is. Now, that's his fourth foul. And, of course, that call on a most significant player. We're in the sixth minute now of this second half, and a substitution, they've got to get him off. There are uh, three players, look, on uh, four fouls, two from Partizan, one from Juventud Badalona. Villa Campo's got to start hitting some shots as well. He's been quiet of late, and look at that once again. Beautiful piece of play, and Dan Danilovic, two more on the break. Opportunist, but he read it so well. Look at this. So emphatic. Two more, and it's looking ominous. It really is. 53-43, and that 10-point 10 10 margin goes back to eight now. Presley gets his 11th point, and uh, it's 12 minutes, 57 seconds left in this European final. Such celebrations last year when Pop 84 from Split took the title from Barcelona, or rather beat Barcelona yet again. Oh, and that was a lovely fade shot, and what a powerful piece of rebounding there by Stevanovic, and the foul by Ruth, the number four. Tall blonde player in the background, gets his second foul. Only 22, so there's a lot of youth around these teams here. There, look at the power. But a foul, you can just see on that right eye the uh, stitches that they've uh, put into that injury that he sustained early on. Well, Zoran Stevanovic, he's only 22, looks much uh, older than that, doesn't he? Big, stocky fella, looks as though he'd be more at home in a shot circle. 55-45, Partizan by 10, 12.35 to go. The Spanish team in green, desperate to get back into this game. They've got 10 points to make up. Thompson, and Thompson once again doesn't get to the basket, but it's an illegal piece of defensive play by Stevanovic. 
Three fouls against him. Have a look at closely at that. Thompson's in. Stavanovic doesn't let him go. Reaches across him. And Thompson still hasn't yet got a field goal. Three points, all from free throws. He's got three out of four. Now that's four out of five. And rebounds not in the same class as one would expect. There it is, four from five. Percentage doesn't mean that much, but uh, certainly the individual points from those shots do. 12-22, 47-55, eight points the difference. The team in white, Partizan Belgrade, leading at the moment. But once again, you've got Djordjevic trying to get through. And we've got a foul. And is it against the number 12, Silabad? I think it is. Just moving sideways, it's his first. He <laughs> shrugs his shoulders. What, me, referee? Yes, is the answer. 12-9 left. Fraser, number six. Thompson jostling on the top there. Oh, and now, and that's an offensive foul. And this time, um, Silabad comes off the better. Thompson, first foul, a judge to have charged into his man. <laughs> that's uh, Manuel Saints. Complaining bitterly, as one would expect. Well, interesting stuff this, isn't it? Dragutinovic uh, out on the top, and uh, Silabad uh, playing high at the moment. No way in. Oh, that was good defensive play there by uh, Badalona. Thompson this time got in and disrupted, let's say that. Bula Kampa, foul there on 15, that's Nakic. Third foul. Down as a guard, he's uh, two metres tall. It's a typical height for an American guard in the NBA. Pretty big. Thompson, and uh, that's the three pointer to Thomas Jofresa. The young man gets a reward that he clearly enjoys. 55 50, and that has brought Badalona back within sight. Five points. They need desperately to defend on this one and to take the rebound, but they can't. And Danilovic, just when Badalona come back, hits them where it hurts with a three-pointer. 58-50, the margin back to eight. Presley defended on the far side. Ruff and Presley. Presley defended by the number 12, Silabad. Ruff. Presley once again desperate to get this ball in. And there's a foul again. And is it still a bad? I tell you what, uh, Zelimir Obradovic, the coach to uh, Partizan Belgrade, cringing there because every time the ball is going up, his players are beginning to foul now. Now, was that still a bad? I think it was again. That's still a bad with another one. So Presley, two metres and three, 11 points. That takes him to 12. Doing quite well in the rebound department. One would expect that of him. The player who's disappointing at the moment is uh, Corny Thompson. A 32-year-old experienced, it's 58-52, I was going to say experienced American, 9.27 left in this final. The atmosphere really building up now. What a marvellous facility this is uh, here in uh, Istanbul. Oh, he's in, he's in, he's in! And that's uh, Stavanovic, 60 to 52, and Partizan found their way in there with not a great deal of defence on show. And that once again is Silabad's foul. Well, he's had three in quick succession there, and we may well see him uh, pulled off at the moment. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. The team foul situation demands that. In other words, he gets the first shot, he'll get the second. If he doesn't, the uh, ball will be in play straight away. Young Jofresha, three rebounds and uh, 11 points. There's only 184 in height. Thompson trying to get in there, Thompson, Presley, and Presley got in that time, and that's what he should be doing. And uh, he looks a little more confident at the moment. He's gone on to 15 points, so he's had a good game. It's Thompson, the man, that hasn't really come good. Six points separate these two sides. This European Championship final, top club of Europe, will be decided very shortly. Almost 10,000 here. And they've seen some marvellous basketball. 
Now, whose foul's that going to be? Is that Silabat again? If it is, it's his fourth. He stepped back on your fresher there. And uh, I think they will take him off. Yeah, it is his fourth. That was a very lazy foul. Look at this. Look, he moved right across and pushed his opponent down. Absolutely right. He was setting a screen. Uh, Thompson was in, a, in amongst it, but not involved. And uh, the foul given, and it was a good foul. Good call by the referee. 8-14 to go. 60-54, Partizan leading. Villa Campo, Villa Campo hits it. He's brought it back to four. It's 60 to 56. Villa Campa, 11 points. It doesn't matter his personal tally, but my goodness, that shot took them within four of Partizan. And you just feel that if Thompson could get going, if Presley could get inside and do more damage, then the Spanish could probably get the reward they promised in previous seasons. Jafresa, it's a good spell, this, and that was a very good foul indeed. Uh, and I say that, um, having given some thought to it, because Badalona were on the break, and that break and that rhythm was stopped by a nice little foul. Watch this, there. And it's a player called Djordjevic who committed it. Just to stop play, it's a one-on-one. -one. You're fresher on the line. The fast break stopped, the rhythm of Bar Bar uh, Badalona has stopped. And uh, put them on the free-throw line. Let's see what they're like. But Jofresa is playing well. He's having a good game. Brother Rafael in foul trouble on four. So much more on a 22-year-old, and he's made them pay. He got both of them. So, two points the difference. Oh, it's hotting up, isn't it? Partizan leading. Lots of contact underneath that to basket now as the players jostle for space. Breaking out Danilovic, that looks like, on the far side. It is. Danilovic pumps it across. No way in through the middle. Nakic can't find it. Danilovic looking to get past that screen set by the number 11. Um, Rabraka to the weak side. Nakic. Rebound to Nilovic. Thompson can't get it. Oh, it's blocked away. And I think that was Presley. Presley, marvellous piece of play. Oh, Morales out on the top too. Three points for Presley. 61-60. Badalona are in the lead. Six minutes, 35 seconds to go. And it's a 15-5 spurt of scoring that took Badalona into that lead. And there was illegal use of the feet, I think. And uh, <laughs> another fast break opportunity taken from a man in full flight at the moment. Well, Harold Presley, what a good player you've proved to be. Where Courtney Thompson hasn't been at his best, Harold Presley has got better and better and better. Now, Georgievich, one point down now, our partisan. Defended by the Flesher. Danilovic comes across to help. The two guards helping each other. Nakic on the far side. He's in! Oh, they let Nakic in back door. 62-61, Partizan. What a game. Oh, and a steal. Danilovic again, he's in. Oh, and it's blocked away. And defensively, superb there. Danilovic and Djordjevic slows it down, settles it down. There's an experienced player who says, hey, we're in charge of this game, let's not give it away. Where's the discipline? Danilovic, Nakic, Nakic looking to get inside. Oh, almost stolen out by Jofresa. Oh, there's a player all the way in. Oh, it's blocked away. Thompson did his job that time, so did Morales, the rebounder. Oh. Fast break attempt, Villa Camper on the end, thinks better of it, no rebound power in, except Thompson, but he's outnumbered four to one, they slow it down, superb discipline from Badalona. One point ahead now, Partizan, just one. This a most vital shot, every shot vital now, Villa Camper, oh no, Presley! 63-62, Badalona, they go into the lead. Oh, it's going one way, then the other. Less than five minutes to go. On oh, either one of these teams will be aggrieved to lose this final. They've both played so brilliantly. Nakic out on the top, defended by Presley. Lots of rotation under the basket. Man to man the defense. Looked like a travel not called. And Badalona get away. It's a foul this time on Djordjevic. And the team foul situation demands a one on one. 
Oh, four fouls on Georgievich. How well he's played, but I tell you what, Thomas Jafres has played well too. This young fella, no fear, all the way in. Now, look at the foul situation. Four players from Partizan on four fouls now. And the two big names in that list, Georgievich and Danilovic. Oof, let's take breath for a moment as Jafresha settles down. One point up. And Partizan now one point down. Dragatinovic and uh, Danilovic on the near side, defended uh, by Presley, not wanting that fella to take a shot. Look at that. Nice little play by the number 13. Is he in? No, he's not. The number 13 is uh, Koplovica and the fast break on again. And this is a superb piece of play. And Villa Campa puts two more. 65 62 to Badalona. Is this the turning point? Villa Campa has 13 points. Well, let's not worry about that. His team have a three point advantage. Now, this is a critical stage for Partizan. Are they going to let it slip? Can the Spaniards hold their form? Can they keep their discipline? Danilovic out on the top, Presley sagging away. The screen being set by Kobravica. Danilovic, three points! And once again, Danilovic hits it where it hurts, and it's 65 each. Thompson tucked in on the inside. He's under real pressure. Surely he was fouled, nothing called. Presley. Presley misses that one. And away comes uh, the number 14, Dragatinovic. Good discipline this time. Dan give the ball away. Dragutinovic uh, calls the play out on the top, marked by Villa Campa. Tight man to man this time. Rotations occurring. Look at the freeing of the players underneath the basket, and there's a foul there. And who's that on? Is it on Villa Campa? It is. It's his fourth, too. Oh, breathtaking, isn't it? One and one. There he is, Villa Campa, fouling his man, acknowledging immediately. And Dragutinovic is on the line. Two points to his credit, that doesn't matter. Four rebounds, that's uh, missed. And Geoffrey brings it away. 65 points each. Well, Partizan looked as though they'd got away. Ten points, the advantage at one stage. And, of course, uh, Badalona with a 15-5 spurt brought it back. Geoffrey defended on the near side tightly. Presley... Thompson getting inside, can he make it play? And that's travelling, surely. Oh, it was travelling, it was travelling. And Thompson cannot get it right. And Manuel Saints cringes and grimaces. The coach knows that there's a problem. It's 65 all. His man was in, his man travelled, his man has not played well on a day that it mattered that he played well. 2.23, 65 all. Final stages. Oh, and a turnover that Partizan did not want. And look at the remonstrations there from Alexander Djordjevic, the number four. The Yugoslav international shakes his head. That says everything. Jafresa, the big men, jostling for position underneath the backboard. Villa Campa, Presley in this time. And there's Jafresa. Jafresa gets a shot away. It's a three-pointer. Thomas has done it again. Takes Badalona three points up, 68-65. Final stage is now. One minute and 45 seconds left. And that was a brave shot. And Thompson got a very important rebound there. And a lot of the things he hasn't done will be forgotten just for the moment. Yafresa brings it down. Thompson calls for it, then says, I don't need it. Sets a very big screen. Oh, Presley's in, Presley's in, Presley's in, he's missed it! Oh, I say, that was a bad one, Dragutinovic. Oh, it's three to Djordjevic, it's 68 points each, and Djordjevic, the man on whom this team depends, has brought them back from the brink. One minute, four seconds left, it's 68 points each. Badalona in green. Under a minute to go. It's all tied. Will we get extra time? Jafresha is inside. Jafresha, Jafresha was blocked that time. And who got the rebound? Oh, and Jafresha's got a second a chance at it. 45 seconds.
seconds. They've got to take a shot. They'll need to take a shot. They'll only want it to be one, but there's far too much time left for that. Villa Campa. Oh, and what was that? A defensive foul? Yes, it was. And that was a defensive foul, and that looks like Dragutinovic on the floor. Yes, it is. Look at this. Defensive foul, moved across, made it look good, but the referee was too close. So, Villa Campa. 37 seconds left, that's four fouls incidentally under Dragutinovic. Now Villa Campa, these are vital, and I say these, if he gets the first, he gets the second. Oh, and that's a bad, bad miss for Villa Campa, and look how frustrated he is. And that's five fouls on Danilovic, and whilst Villa Campa misses that vital shot, Danilovic, the man who has played such a big part in the success so far of Partizan Belgrade, has gone with five fouls. There he is, the number five in the middle. And five fouls, he's gone, and the applause resound around this stadium. He really has uh, played so well, 25 points. And Morales, the big fella, number 12, on the free throw line. Can he get the first? Well, that may well be the deciding factor. I tell you, they've missed two free shots, and they cannot afford to do that. With 26 seconds left, 68 points each. Yafresa defended by Georgievich. And George, look at the eyes, the eyes on the navel, not letting him move. Watching every single movement. 13 seconds, Yafresa goes up. Oh, Yafresa's got it! And they're ahead, 70. And watch this, the final seconds. Four seconds to go, he's hit it! And is that the three-pointer? It is, it's 71-70, and the clock's gone down. And Partizan have won it, and Djordjevic, how fitting it was that Alexander Djordjevic should score that three-pointer. Everyone expected him to go for two. Everyone expected him to attack the basket and go for extra time. The defender sagged away and he took the shot and he got his three. And how those two missed free shots will be rude by the Badalona coach and those players.